Looking for one of the best breakfasts for pre-diabetics? These egg muffins for diabetics are perfect for your pre-diabetes meal prep. They taste delicious. They contain simple ingredients. And I want you to stay to the very end because I'm going to show you how to include this in your pre-diabetes plan and how it works for weight loss. Preheat your oven to 375 and grab your dry and liquid measuring cup. And yes, I do realize my drawer is a mess. We do need to start normalizing this gang. I don't have matchy matchy equipment. I use what works and this has been with me for years, so it's going to be. And you know, if, if you want me to have matchy matchy stuff, you can gladly mail it to me because um, baby, I ain't going to buy if it works. The other thing is that I'm using a fork to stir. I'm not using some fancy whisk. Grab your muffin tins and your nonstick cooking spray. We just need three simple ingredients. You can get these at your local supermarket because gang, I do not shop at the fancy store. We need to normalize shopping at Walmart more. Let's go for it. Go team Walmart. We have four eggs that we're going to use there a protein powerhouse, a package of your frozen broccoli, and then a package of your cheese. Now I just talked about Walmart. You could tell that I got these at Kroger. Now I love using this trick. I'm actually going to crack my eggs in the measuring cup. Why am I do this? Well, number one, I hate washing dishes, so I don't want to dirty an extra bowl, but really this is going to help us pour out this egg and cheese mixture into our muffin tins so we don't make a mess because, you know, a messy kitchen is a great kitchen, but I don't like cleaning up mess either. So one of our eggs, so I remember using four eggs in this recipe, 72 calories six grams of protein, five grams of fat, and really no carbs. So yay for that. I am using a fork to whip these eggs. Now, I don't have fancy equipment. I keep things really simple. And I tell this exact advice to my patients. So if you're new here, hey, I'm dietitian Shelly. My job is that I'm a dietitian. I see folks during the day. Mainly, I see folks for weight loss, blood sugar control, and hormone balance. If that's you, you want to subscribe because I'm going to give you some fun ticks, tips and tricks to follow to the this, we are going to add a half a cup of our cheese and yes, oh, excuse me. You can use any type of cheese. I'm using cheddar. Mozzarella is on sale. Use that. It all works out great. So please don't feel like you have to use cheddar cheese or if you want to ask, you can. I like cheddar. You might like mozzarella. Go ahead and grab that muffin tin and I, I'm cutting the frozen broccoli open with our scissors. And one thing that I want you to do is put that broccoli down, spray that muffin tin with your nonstick cooking spray. This is very important. I don't own the silicone muffin cups. If you do, I'm very interested in purchasing this. I really want to buy only things that I need and work. So if they work for you, let me know when they're on sale at the Walmart. I'm gonna go and grab me some of those. So I'm happy to hear your opinion. Opinion. You're going to fill up half of the muffin tin with your frozen broccoli. Of course, you could use different vegetables. Notice I am using the frozen chopped broccoli though. Pretty important because to have big broccoli florets in the muffin tin is going to be a little bit messy and it may not cook all the way. So that's super important to me. Now, a little trick, I am going to spray the top of this so that it doesn't, you know, get any kind of burn, any kind of crisp. And we are going to cook this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. While this is cooking, we're going to grab our meal prep items, which is our storage bags. And to get these out of the muffin tin, you could use a spatula. I was actually given this spatula as a gift. I think it was in my Christmas stocking one year, but you could use your plain old butter knife. These absolutely look great. Now, I remember I cooked these for 15 to 20 minutes. The time's going to matter on how frozen your vegetables are. So uh, give a little peek. It may be, it may take a little longer, it may take a little bit of a shorter time. And I'm going to remove these from the oven, let them cool for a little bit. And I'm going to cut them out with my spatula. Now, of course you could put them in your storage bags. This video is about meal prep, meal prep specifically for pre-diabetics. So I would encourage you to put two in your bag. Serving size is two. You add to this a fiber. Now in a past video, which I'm going to link below, we talked about meal planning for a full day for a pre-diabetes plan. You're going to want to watch that because I talked about the importance of the combination of protein and fiber. And I would actually add another superfood protein to this, like your yogurt. This is a great breakfast. It's super simple. And if you want more menus, scroll in the description box. You can download our seven day menu to help lower your blood sugar. And gang, I wish you well.